Here's some reality for you. Wow, human beings are refused to have human experiences. Hope you and I are going to talk a little bit about that. And we're also today, we're going to tell you about how Whole Foods is literally ripping you off a dollar a pound every single time you go to the hot bar. Not only is Whole Foods ripping you off, but every other hot bar in every single supermarket is ripping you off. Not only that, I guarantee that when you buy things by the pound that are already in packages, I guarantee you the package is part of the pound weight. Everybody is really taking a nickel here, a dime here, a dollar here. How many times do you go to the gas pump and you realize it's going extra fast? The question is, are you really getting a gallon of gas? You have no idea. When I was in the Ukraine 10 years ago, the meter in certain cabs ran faster than other cabs, right? They do that in foreign countries. They jack the meter so it's moving faster. Constantly a dollar here, a dollar there is being literally ripped off. So today, before we talk about human beings having human experiences, I'm going to prepare all of you for the whole food secret nobody wants to know. We call it whole pickup. That's what I call it because it's one of the best places to meet women in the entire world. Whole pickup is a great place to go because the women that you meet, you know, are going to be whole there. They're going to be more health conscious and they're going to be more aware of who they are. A lot of people call it whole paycheck because of the amount of money they spend there. If you've been to Air One in Venice, you know that whole paycheck is actually a lot cheaper than Air One. But all these places seem to rip you off a little bit. So today, Obi comes back into the office, and he had a big revelation he wants to share with all of you. It's going to change the way you look at Whole Foods. So I was walking in the hot bar. I wasn't really planning on getting any food. I was just going to get some water, get some stuff to make some stuff at home. But then I was walking in the hot bar, and I saw they had my kryptonite right there. They had some hot wings. Fresh Right out of, they just made them. They even put the sign up that says when they just when they put them on. Oh, yeah. You know? I love the time. And it was like five minutes ago. So I was like, oh, shit. They have hot wings. And I was like, oh, I can eat like an endless amount of these. I can just eat them. And there's this high calorie, high fat, which is fine right now because my, my diet is high fat. But I was like, I can't eat too many. So I went and I, went, I was like, I'm going to grab a bunch of steamed broccoli. And I'm going to down a bunch of that to make sure that I don't overeat on the hot wings. So I went and I got some broccoli. And I filled them up and I put them in two different containers so I can, so I can see what the weight was. And then uh, as I'm walking out, I'm looking at my receipt and it said I had like 0.55 pounds of broccoli. And I'm like, damn, did I really just get a half a pound of broccoli? Like, like that's a lot of broccoli. And I didn't think I had bought a hot half a pound of broccoli. $4.50 <laughs> $4. of broccoli, right? And so I come, I go home and I pull out my little uh, kitchen scale. And I wanted to see whether I had actually got 0.55 pounds of broccoli. And so I uh, put the broccoli in a bowl and then I weighed it and it was 7.3 ounces. And then so I realized, where's that extra, you know, one and a half ounces or so that, that they said I had. And I realized that they count the lid and the box, the whole box... And so probably even the rubber band. <laughs> yeah, that, rubber band that rubber band's an add-on, right? That's an upsell. <laughs> As the weight. And though I was relieved that I wasn't eating that much broccoli or that many hot wings, I was also like, wow, that's, that's a little extra money that they take from you. That's a revelation. You know, it's so funny. They take extra money nonstop. You know, it's interesting. The other day I got a uh, smoothie from them and he didn't blend it all the way, right, up to the top. And there was about an inch. Yeah. And I looked at him and I said, well, I said, I'm missing an inch. <laughs> and he looks at me and he says, well, that's where we're supposed to fill it, right? You know, company thing. And I think that I said, but yesterday you filled it up to the tippy tippy top and there was extra. He says, well, this is where we're supposed to fill it. But yesterday you got an overfill. And I'm thinking to myself, an overfill, huh? And then I'm wondering, like, when you came home and talked about that, I'm thinking to myself, what if we weighed every single thing that we bought? What if we weighed everything? What if we weighed the protein powder that came in the, what if we dumped out all our protein powder, right, <laughs> into a plastic bag yeah. after we weighed it? Are we really getting a pound of protein powder? Probably not. Not at all, right? No. So are we getting ripped off? 
or is this just the way companies are? And there's, if you think about, you multiply that experience at Whole Foods. Don't forget, we're also paying for the bones. Yeah. Right. You know, we're also paying for, and here's another scam. We're also paying for unorganic broccoli at the hot food when we are paying less for organic broccoli at the thing. We're paying for the preparation, right? Yeah. Then we're also paying, if you really break it down, that shit sits in some heavy-ass fucking oil. Water, too. Like It's like all the food there is heavy. Like just not like not like necessarily like nutritionally heavy, but like just weight <laughs> like you put it in the thing and you're like damn that's like they try to do as much as possible to make that thing way more did you ever see the macaroni and cheese it has cellulite on it no, what? the macaroni and cheese at whole foods oh. already has cellulite on it i mean that shit is heavy in cream yeah. heavy it's got chunks of stuff in there <laughs> and they do they weigh it the fuck down you take a look at the fish and, the, and there's this tomato stuff on top of it but then there's all this water on the bottom yeah. the broccoli has a lot of extra oils and you always think to yourself like why is there extra oils how come they don't have steamed broccoli this is yeah. supposed to be whole foods right even the steam food comes out with lots of extra water on it i mean they are nickel and diming yes, yes. Yeah, they're really trying to get you. I've I've realized that. So I I really I rarely get food from the Whole Foods hot food section. Uh, I might check to see if they have some vegetables or something like that. But if it's just like if I'm being lazy, or if I just worked out and I really just want to eat like immediately, you know. But other than that, I'll just go home and make something. Well, not only that, you see the people who are scooping ahead of you. Oh man, <laughs> it's like sometimes you know, like you just. Think to yourself, like, oh, because I know there are times that, you know, I've seen kids reach their fingers in there, yeah. you know, mm, macaroni and cheese, and they take a picture a thing, or somebody that goes and they take like the, the prongs, and then they put the prong on their skin, and they let the food out on the skin. You know, they, they'll do that, you Why know, do that? well, because they want to taste the food, right? But the prong actually touched their dirty hand. That's, that's, that's not cool. <laughs> Can't do that. I would, I would be like, I don't know how I would react if I saw that. I've seen it a lot of times. What about the nut, the nuts? I mean, how many times, you know, come on, no grazing? I've seen people reach their hands into the nuts. I mean, that's why I only buy the nuts from the, from the machine that pulls down the lever. <laughs> you know, it looks like an old election fucking booth, right? Yeah. I'm only pulling down on that lever because I don't know. I never touch the nuts yeah. from the fucking things that are, first off, anything that's a kid level, yeah. there's no chance, <laughs> right? <laughs> there is no chance, and, and you notice, okay, in their marketing, right, they're putting the good shit at kid level, right, you know, they're putting the goji berries, and the mulberries, and, you know, the really good almonds, and, you know, the chocolate-covered pretzels, they just want to, they just want to suck the kids right in, but kids have no filter, man, mommy's, you know, mommy dearest is texting, or daddy dearest is texting, not paying attention, and the kid rushes over there, and takes a butt, takes his fucking nasty kid hand because their hands are gross right you know because they don't wash them that well and they, you know god knows if they even wash them if they wipe and they go in there and they reach and they're eating and their mother goes oh don't do that little johnny and you're thinking like yeah that's where the flu came from right that's where the stomach virus came from so they they layer it a certain way so i don't touch that shit the yeah. olive bar god knows what's floating in that yeah no and it's sitting out for a long time no i i used to i think just it's funny over over the years, you become, at least if you're conscious, you become healthier and healthier, and then more conscious of the stuff that you're putting into your body and where it came from and what happened to it before you got to it, you know? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's why I like Air One. They have it. It's like right there behind the fill counter. No one has access to it but, but the people who are working there, and it seems like it's constantly refreshed. And it's like, and it's, it's in smaller batches, it seems, you know? That's what I like about Air One. I mean, the thing is, everybody makes fun of Air One because it's so expensive. But in reality, you're actually getting probably a pound of food for 17 compared to a pound of food for seven. Yeah. But you're actually getting stuff with ingredients you recognize. Yeah, and they don't add sugar and everything that they, like they do at Whole Foods. Whole Foods, do you know Whole Foods add sugar to their soup? Every everything to their sushi rice. The other day, I looked at them. I said, <laughs> "Can I have some sushi? I was craving it." Yeah. 
Good, you know, I wanted some rice that day. Can I have some sushi with no rice, with no with um, no sugar? Yeah. And the guy goes, well, we think there's no sugar in there. There used to be sugar in there. But Air One, it's funny. Air One, they constantly have fresh batches, which I think is really good. But you also, because the door remains open at Air One, sometimes there's the fly puking on the food. Oh, you know, okay. because you know what flies do, right? When the minute a fly lands on a food, it regurgitates what it ate before. They lay babies, too. Right. They lay babies in the larva. So yeah. there's nothing more yummy than fucking fly <laughs> larva. Fly lands on food I don't eat anymore anymore no i saw i saw a national geographic or something about that and they had like a close-up of it of the fly every time it landed and like shit was coming out of its ass i was like no nope, i'm good that's that changed everything as soon as i see a fly on food i'm like that's that's it for me yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i got rules like that too as soon as like you know a little kid like my brother's really funny my brother is uh <laughs> my brother we had a bottle of water we were hanging out with my nephew nicholas and nicholas drinks the water and i'm about to go get I'm about to go drink and Eric takes the bottle away and he goes, look. And all of a sudden I see things floating in the water, right? And I'm like, what is that? I said, and my brother goes, it's little kid backwash. You know, because little kids, man, they drink and they just goes in their mouth and then they just, they don't fully take it in. And it just kind of <laughs> spits back. It's like kids are just, you don't want to share things with children. Yeah. You know, they just don't really, they lack a filter in every every way they lack cleanliness in every single way so yeah it's it's funny man that like when you look at like the food that we actually put in our bodies the pizza that sits out it's like food that sits out for 7 hours is so gross you ever go to one of those hot food bars in Manhattan, you know, when you're there working there, right? You go to those markets and it's like 10 o'clock at night and the hot food's been sitting out all fucking day and it's got this hard layer of, right? Over it or like an Indian food buffet. Oh, yeah. No, I'm good. I don't eat stuff like that. <laughs> I can't. I like, I don't even eat leftovers. I'm like a fresh food type person. So for me, that kind of look, that seems like leftovers. That's why when I saw the time, on the hot wings, I was like, oh, it just came out. This is almost like it's like just, like I ordered it myself, you know? Other than that, I'd be like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah one time I was stalking it, you know, for some food coming out. And I went back. I said, look, it's 520. The new stuff's supposed to come out at 530. <laughs> you know, and the woman looks at me and she says, well, there's still stuff left over. And I go, it was in at one. Yeah. Do you know how many people sneezed on that fish? Yeah. It's like, I'll wait. She go, I go, how long? She goes, well, I said... Why do you post the time if it's not coming out the right fucking time, right? You know, where's Mr. Whole Foods? Anyway, the reality today is careful what you eat. And if you keep getting sick over and over again, and you get things like stomach virus and colds and flu, you got to realize that that shit is passed from disgusting humans that literally touched the, the tongs beforehand, that sneezed or didn't wash their hands or didn't do everything they were supposed to do. So you're literally getting sick that way. I don't get sick because I don't eat, I don't like to eat hot food bars. I wash my hands constantly. I never touch my face and I just don't knock on wood. I don't get sick. I said, but... I mean, take a look at the bathroom. How many times do you see somebody go out of the stall and out the door? And you think to yourself, <laughs> were they reading in there? I don't think so, right? People are fucking disgusting. So the next time you want to scoop up some food from someplace, think about the animals that went there before because cavemen and cave women are living long. Anyway, reality's out for today. Cleanliness is in. 